Hey everybody, Chip Collins coming at you here on uh, Wednesday afternoon, about 3.30 or so. Just wanted to give you a mid-afternoon update after this morning's uh, mid-morning update and uh, mostly just report on what's been happening with the tide. Uh, I'm going to flip this around so you can kind of take a look what the scene looks like. Um, high tide in this location uh, was at about 2.10, uh, so we're about uh, maybe an hour and 20 minutes past that. It was kind of interesting because there was not a big uh, surge. Uh, it might have been a, a few inches maybe uh, above what was uh, predicted. and um, But it was kind of interesting, and we saw this with Irma, that the tide actually kept coming up after the predicted high tide uh, point. So um, I wasn't particularly specific, although I, I did <laughs> take a reasonable measurement, and it came up about an inch or so more after um, after the high tide, which was just kind of interesting. And we actually, again, we saw that in Irma. Everybody sort of sighed uh, relief at the high tide, thinking during Irma that that would be it. Uh, but it, it just kept coming and coming, uh, and that's what the, the, the surge did. Um, so interestingly, now we're about 45 minutes, uh, or now we're about, I guess, as I said, maybe about an hour and 15 past uh, high. And, um, and it's a nine foot drop, so that's over a six hour cycle. So quick math is about 18 um, inches per hour uh, that it's supposed to drop. Uh, but of course, you know, at the extremes of the high and the low, it, it's a little bit slower of a drop. So but it's only dropped maybe about five and a half inches um, uh, since that high water point. So uh, I don't know, maybe it's maybe the tide I can't really recede out uh, quite as quickly. And maybe that's the way we're going to feel the surge here on this down cycle to the low. Um, but we'll keep an eye on it, uh, and obviously as we, um, it's going to be high tide again now in the, in the early uh, hours uh, and won't be very visible uh, in the dark, but we'll report on it the best that we can. We'll keep an eye on it for sure. Uh, otherwise, again, just flipping back, um, it, it's, it's not a bad day uh, out here. Uh, there's some wind blowing, um, no major gusts. Uh, you can kind of see it moving around on the surface of the water. We've had some rain, but nothing of uh, major significance. And um, and my bet is that I think at this point, uh, folks that were going to be viewing the high tide uh, as an indicator of what was going to be coming uh, have decided to probably stick it out. A lot of folks are staying. Uh, I mean, just a lot. Uh, it was funny. The report was that Chick-fil-A was open in Bluffton. Uh, and so we ventured out because everybody loves Chick-fil-A. Uh, and... <laughs> And the line was the longest I've ever seen it. Uh, now, the inside dining room's closed. So it was just drive through only, but it was probably an hour-long process to get through there. But what else are you going to do during an evacuation? Um, so anyway, uh, that's what's going on around here. Again, about 3.30 here on Wednesday the 4th. Um, looking really good right now, but we know there's more to come, and we'll report on it as it happens. Thanks, y'all. Talk to you soon.